Green Stuff under floor insulation is safe and simple to install. Made from 100% polyester fibre, there's no nasty itching or scratching, so no need to worry about protective clothing. Follow this short how-to installation guide and enjoy the benefits of a warmer, drier, healthier home with Green Stuff under floor insulation. Before we start, there are a few things you should check out. We recommend that you are familiar with NZS 4246, Installing Insulation in Residential Buildings. This standard covers the ins and outs of installing different types of insulation in different situations. In every Green Stuff bale, you'll find installation instructions. Please take a few moments to read them carefully. Safety is important in order to do the job right, so check you have the appropriate gear before you need it. You should have a first aid kit on site, knee pads and gloves, dust mask, safety glasses and adequate lighting. You'll need some basic tools, sharp wide blade knife or scissors, tape measure, basic tool kit such as hammer, pliers, screwdrivers and hacksaw, staple gun with 14mm staples. In coastal areas we recommend that you use stainless steel staples to eliminate corrosion. Before you start, we recommend you always check for any potential hazards. Beware of broken glass or protruding nails. Check pipes for leaks and have them repaired before starting the installation. Beware of other hazards such as animals and vermin. It is important to locate all wires and cabling. Treat all wiring as live to reduce the risk of electric shock. You should isolate power to the area if possible. Do not staple within 50 millimetres of any wiring. Avoid covering electrical wires and cables. The condition of electrical wiring under some older houses may need to be checked. Contact a registered electrician to complete any repairs before you start the installation. Green Stuff Underfloor is available in a range of width options, so you should choose the product width to best suit the framing size. Joist widths can vary, so make sure you've measured more than just one. Green Stuff Underfloor is designed to be wider than the joist cavity. It should be installed touching the underside of the floor, but not compressed. Excess material should be folded down on each side and stapled at approximately 75mm from the top of the joist. You can easily tear green stuff to the length you need. Gently push the blanket in the space between the joists up to and touching the floor. To reduce the chance for air movement above the insulation, seal off the ends by tapering the staples up towards the floor. Insulation should be installed to the centre of the bottom plate where you can. For the first 200mm of the joist run, staple every 50 to 100mm and then increase it up to 300mm intervals after that. The insulation should be pulled tight between the joists and stapled without compression. Remember, it should be stapled 75mm from the top of the joist and not directly to the floor, otherwise you'll reduce the insulation performance. Green stuff underfloor should be installed without visible folds or compression lines, other than the stapled folded edge. When joining the end of one roll to the start of another, simply butt join them together, ensuring no gaps and staple in place through the fold down to the side of the floor joists. Double staple to start, then staple every 50 to 100 millimetres for the first 200 millimetres each side of a join. Leave a clear 100mm gap around waste pipes that go through the floor to allow for future service. When installing around lights, always leave 200mm clearance on all sides. Insulate all areas of the floor from exterior wall to exterior wall, leaving no gaps.
For future reference, you should leave a copy of the product bail label and install instructions in a secure and visible place. Before you finish, you need to check the insulation for no gaps, no folds or compression lines, that clearances are sufficient and that the blanket is tight between the joists and not sagging. Don't forget to take the scraps with you. A tidy job is a good job.